Hi guys, Lindsay from LTYG here, and today I'm sharing the sixth and final hack which has helped me deal with a flare-up in the past. Thank you for sticking with me along this six-part series, and I truly hope you've gained some insight um, from these hacks. I have all of the previous videos linked in the video description below for you, so make sure that you're able to see all of them as the content's really valuable. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're not going to miss any of our new content, and you can show us some love at LTYG. And so with that being said, let's get down to it. This is the sixth and final hack that I'm sharing with you guys today. And the tip is food and diet. So this is the number six hack. The number one question people ask when they are flaring, including myself before I learned Jeannie's protocols and tips, um, was what do I eat? Um, because you don't want to eat or be doing anything to exasperate your symptoms um, further, causing more damage, right? Um, and there's so many diets out there, recommended foods and things that are trending right now. It gets so overwhelming to know um, what you should do. And then that just kind of adds to the stress uh, when you're feeling overwhelmed. And you don't want to be in a flare and then trying to figure out um, what to eat because that just exasperates everything even more, right? So you want to have these tools that I'm sharing with you today in your little toolkit, ready to go. You're prepared. You can jump on it right away if and when a flare happens. So what I'm sharing with you today has been tried and tested by Jeannie, um, including myself, as well as hundreds of others that have listened to their own body wisdom and has shared what's worked for them. So here's the tip. During this time, I take it back to basics as my GI system needs time to reset and rest. This is where the elemental diet comes in. So this beautiful formulation um, of Genie Absorb Plus, um, and there's different flavors and different things like that, which is awesome that everybody can give it a try, provides the bowel rest needed to heal. So implementing an, uh, an elemental diet provided ample time for my system to heal any strictures or ulcerations that was going on, which I personally had a lot of them, so that no new wounds um, wouldn't occur or open um, due to solid foods passing through the GI system or too large of a stool, right? Now, many people hesitate to try this diet um, since it's kind of like a liquid diet meals, right? However, the results and even the science behind this is incredible. And think of this time that you are on an elemental diet as an investment instead of um, kind of hating it or doing it with bitterness. Because once you are able to heal, you are then able to have so much more freedom in your food choices, reaping the benefits of your investment. Now, for me personally, I was on an elemental diet for at least probably a year or more, right? And that whole time I did keep focus. If there was times I got frustrated with things that I wanted to eat, but I know it was gonna trigger me, I kept focus on this idea of an investment. So really give that a thought. Now, I also did a half elemental diet for a period of time too. So this means that half of the day I ate the elemental diet meals and the other half I had extremely soft, um, but they were solid food meals. Um, they were gut friendly and like I said, super soft, so they would not increase my flair or make it worse. And I just mentioned this because um, there's a lot of different options. Everybody has different lifestyle and their healing is at different places. So there's many things that are offered to you and that's why I wanted to make sure I tell you about the half elemental diet. Um, any other foods that I incorporated during a flare besides the elemental diet, such as solid food meals that I mentioned, you know, a minute ago, needs to be baby food in texture, super soft and squishy. 
and no seed skins anything sharp whatsoever right because we're dealing with ulcerations and strictures so all gut friendly fruits and veggies they have to be peeled skins completely removed out de-seeded all of that so i basically baby my gi system at this time now the instapot is gonna be your best friend because it can pressure cook all of your gut friendly um, vegetables um, so they're soft enough to consume right and with all of this i ensure my symptoms are stabilized by treating the root issue with an antipathogen like olive leaf extract um, wild oil of oregano or things like that and then i do that of course along with my nature and probiotics in my daily regimen so these have helped me with long-term healing but first they also get the major symptoms of my flare under control well there you have it that is the sixth and final hack which has helped me get through a flare-up but the most important thing i would like you to take away from this series is please do not get discouraged keep on looking for your own personal answers now, if you can't afford um, Absorb Plus shakes, which I mentioned in today's video, Jeannie has a great post with uh, food-based uh, healing shakes that you can use instead if budget is an issue. So see in the description uh, below here for a link to the shake recipes um, so that you can check those out if that fits better for you. Now, if you have found these videos helpful, please let me know in the comments. And here's where I need help from you guys. What else would you uh, like to see from me? What else would be helpful in your journey? Please let me know as I am here for you. Now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and until next time, happy healing and remember, always listen to your gut.